Hi, yeah, this is a third vid from the first lesson, so quite short videos, hopefully. So it says, a stone slides into a strong headwind in a straight line across the horizontal sheet of ice. It passes point A with a velocity of 14 meters per second, and point B, 2.5 seconds in answer. So I'm, I'm kind of setting A to be my U value. So I know, you know So U is 14 meters per second. If you imagine what's happening, as it's traveling into the wind, the wind is slowing down. Uh, T is 2.5 seconds. And I'm saying, uh, so I'm assuming deceleration is uniform, AB, so distance is 30 meters. And I want the deceleration, so I want the acceleration, negatively. So I've got to choose an equation that doesn't have v in it, which is x equals u2 plus a half a t squared. You can imagine it kind of like the wind is just slowing it down. So 30 is 14 lots of 2.5 plus a half times a times 2.5 squared. Right, so how's that going to work? Is that, uh, so 14 times 2.5 is 35. If I take the 35 over, I've got minus 5. Uh, 2.5 squared is, uh, I think that that is 6.25, and then if we half it, it's 3.125 lots of A. So if I divide through by 3.125, and we get minus 1.6. And that's good that because it makes sense this should be negative. If you've got a positive there, you've got something wrong because you're saying it's speeding up. And the whole point is that the, the wind's slowing it down. So the velocity of the wind, well, you can choose what you want now, can't you? I've got everything, I've got all the information that I need. Uh, the other one. A is minus 1.6, and T was 2.5. So you can use the easiest question when you want, which is the V equals U plus T. So V is going to be 14 minus 1.6 times 2.5, so that's 3.24, so 14 minus 4. Our velocity is now 10 meters per second, and the light's going off the just looking for the sensor. Right, lights back on. Here we go. Right. Let's have a look at this one now. So think about what this means. So start off at A. Slow down at B. Uh, but then I stop. So I want to find out where V is zero. So no, I don't know S. I don't care about S. U was 14. V is 0, A is minus 1.6, T is 1 of 1. I need that picture. Right, so the equation without S in it is just V equals U plus A to T. So 0 is 14 minus 1.6t, so 1.6t is 14, divide through by 1.6, and the completed pack says 8.75 seconds. There. So I'm just subbing in the numbers. Uh, huh. Right, so let's have a think about this. So it says the displacement and the distance travelled after 10 seconds. What I've got, it went and it stopped there. And that had a time of 8.75 seconds. Now, if you imagine the wind's blowing that strong, it stops it, then it starts blowing it backwards. So it's blowing it backwards 1.25 seconds there. Right. Okay. So let's have a think then. 
So first of all, let's all find out uh, how far it went in the first 8.75 seconds. So while it's travelling forwards. So travelling in the positive. Or oh, no, how far it went. So U was 14, V is 0 because it stopped, A is minus 1.6, uh, T is 8.75, there. So I use the easiest one for S, which is, for me, is a half U plus V times 2. Use a different one if you want. So a half 14 plus 0 times 8.75. So that's 7, so it's going to be 4, 56 plus uh, a little bit more gives me 61.25. So that's the total distance I've gone forward. So now, so I know it's gone, this distance here now is 61.25 metres. Now the way it works, it just does it continuous, so it's going to work out its displacement as opposed to its distance. So if I find S when T is 10, that means it's actually on its way back, but it'll tell me how far I am from A. And people don't like that because it's kind of coming back on itself, but this will tell us how far away from A. So S, I want to know, U is 14. V, I've got no idea about anymore, because this is at 10 seconds and not at 8.75. It'd be a negative number, because it's coming back towards it. A is minus 1.6, and T is 10. So if I use S equals UT, plus a half AT squared, so S is 14 lots of 10, which is 140. A half lots of minus 1.6, which is minus 0.8, times by 100, 10 squared. So I've got 140 minus 80 is going to be 60 metres. So what am I saying? So that's away from A. So from this picture, I'm saying that that distance there to where it stops is 60 metres away. Which means if the distance for it stopping was 61.25, that distance there must be 1.25 metres. Uh, just double check it, make sure I'm okay. Right then, so the displacement I've got. It's just the 60 metres, I've done that, but my distance travelled is the 61.25 where I was travelling in the positive direction and the 1.25 metres travelling back. So my distance travelled is 62.5 metres. Right, I'll stop there and we'll do example four.